Hi, Jacob Kaluzna here, Instant Threat Modeling. Today we'll model the threats applying to CAPTCHA mechanisms. CAPTCHA mechanism. A simple challenge response test to make sure that on the other side we get a human, not a bot. Twisted, blurred characters on a low contrast background, uh, difficult to read, or a task to perform, such as selecting tiles that contain street lights. Let's see the high-level overview. We've got the user and a protected asset or function. To reach the final element, one must go through a capture. Most of them implement an external component, the capture provider. Who is the potential attacker? Depending on where the capture is implemented, either an anonymous or a registered user can be emulated by a bot. What is the main threat here? Well, bypassing the capture purpose, that is, reaching the final element without having to go through the challenge response task. What technically can go wrong here? First, regardless of how strong the actual capture is, directly accessing the final function is definitely worth a try. So we've got the direct access. The second attack vector is probabilistic. Low entropy of the capture challenge could allow the attacker to build a correct response for each of the possible challenges. So we've got the low entropy here. Capture replay is a good one too. Uh, very often the challenge is not discarded after being used. Now client-side capture is what I called CRAPTCHA. Implementing the CAPTCHA client-side in JavaScript reveals the verification mechanism. So it allows to bypass it instantly. And the last one is simply a weak CAPTCHA. So weak that it can be bypassed by automatic tools. For example, an OCR reader to tra transcribe the text uh, or to automatically solve a manual challenge. Let's get a weak challenge here. There are also fun attack vectors, such as relaying CAPTCHA to a third party. So we can have another user, potentially on um, completely another side, um, that um, will solve the challenge for us. So once the user initiates the process, they grab the CAPTCHA challenge, they forward it to a third party that solves the challenge and gives it back to the user. So, semi-automatic hacking. Instant mitigations. Protect direct access to the resources. High entropy. High enough to protect against online brute force. Have a good understanding what is hard for computers and what is hard for humans. Always discard a capture challenge that has been solved or has not been solved by the users. Always implement CAPTCHA server-side. So either on your service or at the CAPTCHA provider. And well, short response times and requiring multi-step challenges uh, will protect against relaying CAPTCHAs. These were a few threats applying to CAPTCHA mechanisms. Best advice? Use a trusted external public library that is being maintained by a trusted third party and follow their documentation. Always happy to discuss your case. Cheers.